For our children's message, we're going to start this week using the story for children as we follow along, as we go through the story uh, in worship for adults. And this book that you see right here, this is the cover, is uh, kind of for the like elementary age. There is a version of this for younger children, and then there is a teen version as well. But uh, I think that the illustrations on this book in particular are just beautiful, and so I wanted to use this. So we'll be covering the couple of parts in the children's version that we are doing in worship today, uh, in the adult version. So this is for chapter three of the story, and this is entitled The Favorite Son, which comes from Genesis 37. When Abraham's grandson Jacob grew up, he had many sons, but Jacob loved one son more than all the others, his son Joseph. To show his love for Joseph, Jacob made him a special gift, a beautiful coat of many colors. This made Joseph's brothers very jealous. They didn't like their father playing favorites. Listen to the dream I had, Joseph told his brothers one morning. We were binding sheaves of grain and suddenly my sheaf stood straight up and yours gathered around mine and bowed down to it. Joseph's brothers were annoyed at this story. Are you saying that we will bow down to you someday? Now the brothers grew even angrier. Then one day, Jacob sent Joseph out to visit his brothers who were in the fields tending their sheep. When they noticed Joseph coming, they saw a chance to get rid of the younger brother they hated so much. So the brothers grabbed Joseph. They ripped off his beautiful coat and they threw him into a dry well. Soon a caravan of camels and merchants came by on its way to Egypt. Hey, I've got an idea, said one of the brothers. Let's sell Joseph to these men. So the brothers took Joseph out of the well and sold him to the merchants for 20 shekels of silver. Then they grabbed his coat and they dipped it in an animal's blood and took it to their father. Father, they cried, look what we found. Jacob knew the robe belonged to Joseph. Jacob was heartbroken, believing the boy he loved so much was dead. For many days, Jacob mourned and wept for his son. Inside a prison in Egypt, the morning was quiet and still. Prisoners silently shuffled in line for their breakfast. The guards guided them back to their cells. But Joseph, the one they called the dreamer, skipped breakfast to think about his family. He thought of his father, Jacob, and his brothers who had sold him as a slave. Years passed, but he still missed his family and wondered if he would ever see them again. Even in homesick moments, Joseph trusted God and knew that his life had a purpose in God's big plan. Joseph's daydreaming was interrupted by a messenger from the palace. Hey, Pharaoh wants to see you. He's heard that you can explain the meaning of dreams. No one's been able to explain the dreams that have upset him lately. So Joseph was taken to the palace. The king described his dreams of fat cows and skinny cows. These dreams are keeping me awake, the pharaoh said. Joseph told the king, only God has the power to explain dreams, but I trust God to help me understand. Joseph told pharaoh the dreams were a warning of a terrible drought. For years, no rain will come. Without water, the crops will die. God is telling you to save food for your people. It's time to prepare, said Joseph. Pharaoh believed Joseph. He said, I will put you in charge of all these preparations because I know God is with you. The people of Egypt followed Joseph's instructions. So when the drought came, they had plenty to eat. Other countries weren't as prepared and they ran out of food. Many people came to Egypt hungry. One day... Joseph's own brothers, the ones who who sold him into slavery, came asking for food. It had been such a long time since they had seen Joseph, they didn't recognize him. They didn't know who he was. But Joseph recognized them. Joseph made a special dinner for his brothers and gave them food to take back to their families. The brothers just couldn't understand why this very important man was being so kind to them. Joseph watched them, waited, trying to decide what to do. Finally, he told them, I am your brother, Joseph. They could hardly believe it. They were ashamed. They were afraid because of the way they had treated their little brother so long ago. 
But Joseph was so happy, he hugged his brothers. Don't be mad at yourselves for what you did to me, he said. Even though you meant to do something bad, God used it to do something good. Joseph always knew that God was with him. Now his life's journey made sense. Soon the whole family gathered in Egypt. God did this good thing. Joseph and his family praised God for bringing them together again.